Alrighty, how's it going everybody? So these are going to be some tutorials for some of these Python exercises that we're going to be doing. So this first one that we have, exercise 3.1.5, it's going to be some of the more basic stuff. So these will go pretty quick. Uh, but let's see, what does it want us to do? Write a program that prints your name and something about yourself. Here's an example of what your program could display. My name is Eleanor. I like writing Python programs. Okay. So this one's easy. We're just going to use a print statement. My name is Mr. Burke. Print. I like writing Python programs. Okay, so whenever you're doing some of these uh, different things, we need to make sure that you're taking a look at it's making sure that you have the correct syntax. So note that print is lowercase, right? So anytime you're calling one of these functions, it's typically going to be lowercase. Then you have uh, make sure that you close all of your parentheses. So that's a common thing that you'll probably end up seeing a lot is if you forget to close a parentheses, then you will get a syntax error. Same thing with these quotations. You want to make sure that you have both of the quotations uh, anytime that you are doing something like this. We'll discuss some of the edge cases later as we're going, but that will uh, be doing it for this exercise. Let's make sure that this is correct on the code. Perfect. Check the code. Great. So let's move on to the next one. So in this one, it wants us to fix the program, which I need to actually uh, go back in the history of this because I already did this earlier and then my mic didn't actually record anything. So what is wrong with this program? Well, we discussed a little bit just a second ago that anytime that you're doing this, you need to make sure that you have the appropriate syntax. Well, in this case, we don't have the appropriate syntax because we don't have our quotations. So we got to add our quotations like so, and that will fix the program. So let's run it, make sure that it works. Perfect. There we go. So let's move on to the next one, vertical name. So in this one, it wants us to, uh, let's see, the next exercise, we'll write a program that displays your name written vertically. In this case, if your name was Maria, it would look like that. Okay. So basically what it's trying to show us is that each time that you uh, set up a print statement, it is going to be on a separate line. Uh, so another cool thing is that if you add an empty print statement, it will skip a line. So we can do that right there. B print you print R print K print E. Whoops, there we go. So again, we're always checking that we have the correct syntax. We have both of our parentheses. We have our quotations and everything should work just fine here. So let's write that and you'll see that this blank print statement essentially functions as skipping a line uh, because it prints a blank line right in between these two things. So let's check it out. Each line should have one character. OK, so it's mad at me that this one has a period in it. So I'll just get rid of it. Um, and there we go. Perfect. So let's move on to 3.2. So in this one, let's see what it wants us to do. Let's erase this. Write a program that does the following, creates a string variable, creates an int variable, and uh, prints both variables each on their own lines. OK, so in this one, we're sort of starting to get into what these variables are. So in this case, we have an integer variable. OK, so an int variable, that means basically a number or a whole number. OK, um, so that one X is going to be set equal to 10. We'll set Y equal to something. OK, so this is going to be our string variable. And you'll note that it is a string because it has quotations. So anytime that you're designating something as a string, you're going to want to make sure that you surround it in quotations. Uh, and then it wants us to print each of these variables. So we're going to print X and print Y. Now you might be saying, Mr. Burke, you're saying that you needed to make sure that you put quotations anytime that you're printing something, which is half true. If you're printing a string, then yes, you need to make sure that you put quotations around it to designate that it is in fact a string. But if you are printing a variable, you don't actually need to put the quotations around it. So what it's going to do is if you have Y like this, it is going to say, OK, what's Y? Well, Y equals something. So it's going to print something instead. 
On the other hand, if I put the Y in quotations, it's going to print the physical letter Y. So it's going to print 10 something and then Y. Okay, so do you see how that works? This one says, okay, what is X? X equals 10, I'm going to print 10. This one says, oh, what is Y? Y equals something, okay, I'm going to print something. This one just says print the string value Y. So that is what happens there. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. So in this one, we again need to diagnose some code, so I'll have to reset it really quick. History, reset code, okay, great. So in this one, let's see, it gives us an error when we start, right? So name C is not defined, okay. So this is another concept that you'll see in programming, in particular with Python, is that you need to make sure that your variables are defined before you actually start using them. So in this case, we set B equal to C, but we don't know what C is, so we can't set B equal to C. So we basically need to move C above this. So we're gonna put it up here. Because now, when we set B equal to C, we'll be setting B equal to 20, okay? Um, so that's how that sort of operates there. And I think this still gives us an error because I think there's another one that's undefined, yes. So F is also not defined uh, because there's nowhere up here where it says F equals something. So you can't set E equal to F if you don't know what F actually equals. So we need to figure out how that works. Um, but the other thing that we need to make sure that we're checking is this thing right here. So 10, 20, 20, 30, 80. That's what it wants us to display. So in this case, we have 10, 20, 20, 30, which is great, but we need to make sure that E is gonna be equal to 80. And we need to do it by changing this F value and setting it to something. So first we need to figure out what does D equal? And we know that D equals 30. So therefore we need to set F equal to 50. So we can do that anywhere in this program as long as it is above where this happens right here. So we could put it up here. We could set it right here. We could also set it up here. We can set it multiple times. It doesn't matter where we set it and how many times we set it, but basically it needs to be above uh, where the definition is. So like if I move this and I put it below F equals 50, it's still not gonna do anything because Python runs the code in order. So it's gonna go through line one, line two, line three, line four. It's gonna get to line 15. It's gonna be like, all right, well, I'm gonna set E equal to F plus D. Well, I have no clue what F is, so I'm gonna break. So that's why we need to make sure that we assign F a value before this line right here. So that is how that operates. And let's double check, make sure it works. Perfect, now we can move on to the next one.